Okay guys, so I'm doing my grocery list here. Publix has a ton of stuff. Um, buy one, get one free this week, especially this juice that we really like. And it only goes on sale like once or twice a year, so I'm going to stock up on that. But they only allow you to buy like um, 12 at a time. So I'm going to have to go and do some mini runs so I can get multiple things of it and stock up on that. And the gas cards are on sale this week. If you don't shop Publix, you buy, um, just so you know, if you buy $50 worth of groceries, you can get a gas card for $40. So that's $10 off. So I will be doing that too. So I'm going to really stock up. I did a two-week grocery shopping, um, tested it out last week to see how that worked. It worked out pretty good. I did have to go get like things like bananas. And yesterday I went to Target and I bought these. I bought these um, Simply Balanced Chicken chicken Burgers. I thought I would try that. There's, they're gluten-free, vegetarian-fed, no antibiotics, and no hormones, no steroids, steroids. So I thought I would try that. So I'm going through my freezer here. We did go through and eat a lot of stuff um, that was left over. So um, I was taking inventory to see what I have left. So I have steak. And I have pork chops and I have hamburgers left. So that's two things worth of hamburgers. So two meals. So that's one, two, three, four. And there's salmon, that's five. And there's tilapia, that's six. I don't know how much tilapia is in there. Six, seven. And then let's call that the chicken eight. So that's eight meals. So I'm only going to need um, six meals worth of um, meat. And I don't have any frozen vegetables yet left that we've used all those up. I think I might actually throw that one away. It's kind of stale. These are burnt and there's hash browns in there and ice cream. And this is all leftover bread that my husband eats. I don't eat it because I'm gluten free. But so I won't have to buy hamburger buns. I keep them in the freezer because we only use one at a time. Because I don't eat them and um, so he eats them and there's just some leftover bread from I don't even know why I'm saving it I guess there's some bagels here from um, I did give my husband that for um, breakfast one morning um, so that, these are all in the freezer and this is what's left of my UD gluten free bread that I don't really eat that often maybe once a week so yeah I'm gonna finish making up my um, grocery list and uh, head out to the store I didn't show you this now this is my um the top drawer of the thing which I can't get it to slide back in but um mostly you know I have like frozen soups in here frozen meals in here so I do have some stuff there and there's a bunch of this is frozen those are frozen bananas so I need to take inventory of that and see what I have and I wanted to show you the bottom drawer let me turn the camera off and try to slide Okay, well, so what I was trying to show you is a while back ago, I bought some stuff from the, um, some bins from the Dollar Tree to put stuff in to just separate it. Like, this is my chicken and my fish, and, um, and here is the pork chops and hamburger, so I can keep that separate. And then I have all my bread in here, ice cream in here, and then I put all my frozen vegetables in there just to keep it separated because it was all mixed up and piled on top of each other, and it was hard to, um, keep track of so this is working out better so the refrigerator is pretty empty but it needs a little cleaning up um yeah I need to take inventory of this drawer I did just that's garbage so I need to put this lunch meat back in here um let's see what else in here that's probably not any good I think this is pasta Yeah, it says best to fuse by October 15th, so that needs to go. Um, the rest of the stuff is good to go. There's cheese in here. Um, I do need some yogurt. So there's, this is em getting empty. So this is all my, this is my fruit bin. And I need to get some sour cream. And um, this is just leftovers. Yeah, probably some eggs. 
And let's see what's in this drawer. This is uh, avocado. That's looking pretty nasty. Probably have to throw that away. And I have all my um, vegetables in mason jars because they just last longer. And I usually put my fruit in mason jars too, but I didn't do that for the cantaloupe for some reason. And yeah, so um, that's looking pretty good. And I got to go finish making my list and head out. Okay, this is just part of my grocery haul. Again, I'm going to go to the store um, at least one, maybe t um, two more times to get enough juice because Publix only allows you to buy two of these juice. I guess, again, they were buy one, get one free. So I got some raspberry, cran raspberry, and cranberry. Oh, I thought that was cranberry pomegranate. It's just cranberry. Darn it. Shoot. Anyway, so I bought 12 of these, and then I half them, if you haven't watched my videos before, I half them with juice, so they will, this will last a long time, I'll have a good stockpile of that, and um, I bought a mocha cappuccino, and I bought some cream cheese, and these were buy one, get one free, and not <laughs> bad, but they were, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I'm going to do a little display in the entryway, and put some candy in there, maybe give some to the kids in their little bag of stuff. I got some eggs, because we're gonna have eggs right now, and cheese, and um, these were buy one, get one free. I thought I'd put them in my husband's lunches. These are raisins, and then they had some yogurt raisins. And the uh, Alexia potatoes were on sale. The These are all natural. This is spicy sweet potato fries. My husband really likes those. And I got the sweet potato puffs. They're like, you know, um, tater tots. And I got some jalapenos for my husband for our eggs this morning, or his eggs. And I got uh, two apples. Those were on sale. I got some mushrooms. Probably put those in my eggs. Maybe. And I bought, these were buy one, get one free. Now, you... <laughs> I, I went ahead and buy, bought these because they were buy one, get one free. I don't normally buy prepared stuff. I mean, it doesn't really take that much effort to cut them, but it was the same, pretty much the same price as buying the whole um, zucchini. So we're going to have those tonight for dinner with steak, and I bought some onions because we were low, and I bought some bagels because I had a craving for some bagels. So I bought some of the UD, um bagels, gluten-free and I'll, again, I'll stick them in the freezer. I'll probably only have half of this. So this, you know, this is four of them. This will last me for eight different times. It'll last me a good couple of weeks, probably a month or more. So, um, so I spent, um, a hundred and four dollars and fifty-one cents. And I say forty-eight dollars and fifty-seven cents. That but that $100 included a $50 gas card, which I got $10 off of that because I purchased at least $50 worth of groceries. That is why I'm not buying the juice separately because that was $24 worth of juice alone. Wasn't it $24 worth of juice? Yes, I think so. Yes, $24 worth of juice alone. So, you know, that's half of a gas card that I could get. So I want to make sure I got enough groceries so I could buy, purchase a gas card. So I'm going back tomorrow uh, once or twice to finish out the rest, the rest of my groceries. I'm not sure how much juice I'm going to buy. So I'm at least going to buy 12 more. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy 24. Then that would be a third, uh, third trip. So anyway, so that's it. And then I'll show you the other grocery haul. Okay guys, so I'm I'm going to be doing my meal planning now. I'm going to go to the store here in a few minutes. Um, it is like really late. It's like 6.30. Um, just was cleaning the garage today, so, um, and you'll see that video later. Um, I'll put a link to that. I did finish phase two of the garage today, yay. So we're busy all day in that, so I didn't have time to, to go to the grocery store. Again, as you remember, I am going to do a second run so I can get the um, juice. I was going to do a third run, but I think 24 will be enough. I half it was juice, so that makes 48, 
and what that 48 and I use about one maybe two a week and so that'll last me a long time I think that'll be plenty but I want to make sure I get the gas cards so my budget usually is about um, 300 to $150 a week and so that's 300 for the two weeks so I'm trying out the two week plan I did that um, two weeks ago it worked out well I don't really think it's saving me any money because I'm not really sure I didn't keep real good track because a few times I went to Target to get bananas and stuff like that but I also got other stuff so I wasn't keeping real good track but I know I need to, I still have two hundred and thirty six dollars I probably don't want to spend all that today because I want to reserve some if I need to go back to the store and get bananas and things like that so um I did just did an inventory of my um freezer and I have seven chicken burgers left and three hamburgers left one pork chop um, probably two meals for tilapia and one salmon so um that's probably the chicken burgers up you're going to be using some of those for um, lunches that's for me um, I bought those at Target the other day the simply balanced ones I'm gonna see how I like those and um, actually I had one today it was pretty good so tonight we I'm gonna just write two weeks worth down on this planner and again this planner is from um, Green Child magazine and I'll put the link to that um, below in the description so I'm just going to do one week here and one week there so tonight we had a late lunch I had chicken burger and husband had a hamburger so we're going to have some chili I was gonna get chili from Wendy's um, but I decided I would make it because I don't want to run all the way up to Wendy's after I do my um, grocery haul. Plus, I need to film the grocery haul. So, so we're going to have chili and sweet potato. Um, he's going to have sweet potato fries, and I'm going to have the sweet potato puffs. The Alexia, which is on sale. And I already did um, a list here um, from the other day of things that I need and things that were BOGO, that were buy one, get one free, and things that were on sale, etc. So, um... I already got a list going here. I don't like to use this as my shopping list. I don't know, it gets messy and stuff, and I want to save it for um, my meal planning. So, um, then tomorrow, I think we will go ahead and have the salmon. And and uh, I tend to only write um, down what the meat is, and I kind of know how much vegetables and um, side dishes that I need. Um... And I can play it by ear depending on what I feel like having. So, you know, I, I've been, you know, doing meal planning for a while now. I kind of got uh, to know how much I need. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to have salmon on um, Monday. So I already have that. So I don't need to buy that. So I need, uh, we're going to have tacos on um, Tuesday. My husband has chicken tacos and I have... I mean, I have chicken tacos. My husband has um, beef tacos. So, I do not have any hamburger. So, I need to write that on my list. And I do not have any chicken. So, I'm going to buy some chicken strips. So, I need to write that on my list. And um, then Wednesday, I'm going to write pork chops. And I need some seasoning for that. I do, I do know that. Um, and Thursday... Um, hmm, maybe we'll do the, I do spaghetti rice. I make spaghetti, um, with, just instead of pasta, I use rice. Um, so, I think we're low on rice, so I need to buy some more rice and some spaghetti sauce. I think I'm almost out of that, and, um... Hamburger and sausage. We like hamburger and sausage for that. So I'm going to write that on my list. Um, and then we'll probably have some kind of vegetable or salad. Um, and then Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday. Um, I'm going to do chick. I'm going to do the, what's it? Chicken. Ch Is it chipotle? I might go ahead and do a video on that. It's like spicy chicken. It's real easy, so I need some more chicken for that because we're out of that. 
chicken and um, I'm going to get the rice. And I already have the chipotle peppers. I need an orange for that. Cause, oh, it's orange chicken chipotle. From Clean Magazine. I got the recipe from cleanmagazine.com. And you can go to their website and find that recipe. And then Saturday. Um, <laughs> what do I want to do Saturday? I don't know. Um... Tilapia. I'm just going to put tilapia. And sometimes I change it. I decide I don't want it and I'll just switch. So I have the tilapia. And um, so I need, I'm going to need lots of veggies for this thing. I think I'm going to get two more of the Alexa sweet potato fries. Um, I really like them. So I think I'm going to get two more of those. So um, we'll use those. And, um,. With the pork chops, I'm going to have mushroom rice. I usually like to have that. And I like to have applesauce with my pork chops. So I, we don't have any left. So I'm going to write applesauce down on my list. I just scratch, scratch there. And okay, so that's week one. So then the next week, um, maybe Sunday we'll do, uh, I want to do a pot roast. I try to do that. Um, so I need to, I probably should have wrote my meats here. I need to get a pot roast. Um, and then Monday. Um, so, you know, this is going to be week two. And it is kind of messy, but whatever. Um, definitely going to be doing tacos here. So I'll, I'll need to get another thing, a hamburger, ground hamburger. So I need two. And I need two of the chicken strips for me. And, um, we can do steak. What day would come and do steak? Uh, I'll do steak on Friday, steak and salad. Um, because that will be my husband's Friday off and he won't have salad that day. He usually has a salad every day. So for dinner, he doesn't usually tend to want a salad. So that will be his Friday off. And so we do steak and salad, and I don't have any steak, so I'm going to use that. And um, I should t use up the other tilapia. We'll do til tilapia on this day. Um, and I don't know what else I'm going to do. Um, let's just do pork chops again. So I, I only have one pork chop left, so I'm going to have to get another pork chop. And, um, <laughs> could do, uh, <laughs> hamburgers. Again, I, I might switch this. And I'm going to have the chicken burger, which we already have that. And then Saturday, I'm not going to put anything for Saturday because maybe we might eat out. Or we might eat out this Saturday and then therefore I'll use the tilapia on that side. I know we'll probably end up eating out one at least one day um most likely so all right that's it so um i already got the rest of my list going so i'm going to head out to the store now and um get the groceries that i need for the next two weeks okay guys so i ended up spending more than i wanted i spent like two hundred and thirty seven dollars but they had a ton of stuff uh meats that were on sale so i went ahead and stocked up I mean, it's obviously going to be more than two weeks worth, but let me just get started. So I bought some um, extra virgin olive oil. That was buy one, gluten free. Nearly everything I bought was either BOGO or on sale. Um, these <laughs> That being said, these weren't on sale. I really like these Amy's Organic Soups. So that's Chunky Tomato Bisque, and it's been cold out here lately. So I've been in the mood for soup, and this is Mushroom Bisque. And I bought chicken wings for my husband. Um, and this, I bought some tomato paste. This is like practically the only brand that has, um, that the only ingredient is tomatoes. Everything has every, all the other brands had something else in it. So I bought some chili beans for the chili tonight. I'm going to put garbanzo beans in it. And I'm also going to put black beans in there too. And I bought a dozen eggs. And I bought another one of, 
or actually a dozen and a half eggs. And I bought another two bags of the Alexia sweet potato because it was buy one, get one free. And for the meats, I got a, I bought the Green Wise pot roast. And I bought the Green Wise Angus beef um, sirloin filet. Usually I buy the Chuck Eye Publix brand, but I thought I'd try that because it's Green Wise brand. And I don't need a huge steak, so the little ones for me, the big ones for my husband. And I bought the Green Wise hot Italian sausage. And I bought, I guess they don't, Green Wise doesn't have um, pork chops. Not that I could see. So I bought some pork chops, but that's two meals. So that, that'll be two meals. Well, I'll, I'll add it to hamburger and that's a meal. And then this will make a meal and some leftovers. And I bought three things of the Green Wise hamburger. One tonight's going to be for the chili. And I did buy some bacon. We've been liking having bacon with our eggs lately as a little treat. And I bought two of the Green Wise chicken tenderloins and the um, this Springer um, chicken breast, boneless skinless chicken breast was on sale for three ninety nine a pound. It was half the price of the Green Wise, the Publix Green Wise. Uh, that was like seven dollars a pound. So it does have no antibiotics and fed vegetarian vegetarian diet. But I know. Um, my niece, she was up on these things that she likes, does like the green wise better. I can't remember what was the reason, but I mean, I couldn't pass up that price, so that. And then I have never bought this kind of yogurt before, but it was buy one, get one free. How could I pass that up? And it's Organic Valley Grass Milk um, Yogurt. So I bought that, and I bought some reduced fat green wise um milk and I bought some sour cream and they have it in this neat nifty squeeze pouch now it was a little bit more like 20 cents more than um, the other brand because you're only getting 14 ounces instead of 16 ounces and I bought some lemon pepper I really like lemon pepper seasoning and we needed some small pick plates we use that for to feed our cats with and I bought some UD pizza crust um, and then I bought this Heart to Heart Blueberry Clusters um, Kashi Cereal. It was buy one, get one free. It doesn't say or um, gluten free, but I looked at the ingredients and I didn't see any gluten in it. So I went ahead and bought that. And I bought some blueberries to go with that. Fresh blueberries, so that'll be yummy. And I bought some brown rice. I usually like to buy the, I forget what it's called. It's like in a little plastic container. Really, but it, I usually only buy that when it's buy one get one free because it's too expensive. So I just bought plain brown rice and these chicken broth, the Swanson chicken broth. I bought the unsalted kind. It was buy one get one free. So I bought three of the chicken broth and one of the beef broth. And what else did I buy? So I bought some more bananas because we only have three left. And um, I bought an apple and two pears and some jalapenos, an avocado. Those were on sale. The pears were on sale. And I bought an orange because I'm going to make orange chipotle chicken one night. And a green pepper for tonight's dinner and some applesauce. I'm really having a hard time finding unsweetened applesauce. So I found this. I kind of wanted like the big container, but that's all they had. It was a little container. And the blueberries were on sale. So I bought those, and I bought an acorn squash, because I like that, my husband doesn't, so he probably won't eat that. Some carrots, I did buy some Brussels sprouts, I don't typically like Brussels sprouts, but my sister has a really good recipe, so I'm going to try using, try making them, because they're really good for you. I'm trying to eat a variety of vegetables, not the same thing all the time. So the cauliflower was uh, two for five, so I bought one of each. The broccoli and the cauliflower was two for five um, on sale. And the, the fresh attitude lettuce was on sale. Buy one, get one free. And I bought some of the heavenly tomatoes. All oh, It was $2.99. All the other tomatoes were like $3.91. There was none on sale this week. And I bought some more mushrooms and a cucumber. And I bought some cat food. And I bought some uh, Gary Dillo chocolates for myself. And um, I bought 12 more of the juice, and um, I bought a thing of water. It's just the public spring water. It wasn't on sale. They didn't have any Dinsani water on sale, but we were running out of water, so I needed to buy that. So that was that. Um, 
Again, I spent about $237 on um, groceries, and that was all my budget for the two weeks. But as you, I mean, that's a ton of meat. I don't even know how much meat that is. Um, that'll last more than two weeks, probably three or more. And I bought the gas cards. So total savings, I saved $112.69. Because uh, forty dollars saved in the gas cards, and um, what like seventy dollars that I saved between the buy one get one free, and um, the stuff that was on sale. And here's the gas card. So uh, I think I did pretty well, even though I went ahead and spent all my budget. So um, I mean, again, I bought more than two weeks worth. I will have to go back to the store maybe for some produce, but um, we'll see. And um, that's all I have for you today, and i got to go and make some chili because it is late. Enjoy your day.